You have tracked the betrayal of the American dream and what exactly occurred over the last several decades. When did you first notice something changing about what we're describing? We're talking about the 50s or 60s when there was more, is more synchronous and there was a little bit more of folks working for the same common purpose. Mm -hmm. When does it change? I think it really came into, start coming into focus for us in the 80s. Right. Uh, we did a major series for the Philadelphia Inquirer in the late 80s on tax breaks and how successful lobbyists were in extracting things in the midst of legislation that was supposedly going to be wonderful for everyone. And we were curious, like what, what's happening here? What, what's going on here? And, and that's the way we've almost started every series. We haven't started out with a, with a blueprint, like we're going to go out there and show this, that, and the other thing. We're curious, like what is happening here? What is behind this? So we began to look at that. We began to examine specific companies where, which had endured this process, talking to the workers uh, and middle management in many cases to find out what, what, what progressed, what happened. I'd go to one part of the country, um, Don would go to another, we'd type up our notes or transcribe the tapes from these places, exchange the interviews, looked like we were talking to the same people. You had people who had been part of that compact, who'd worked for a company for years, who'd suddenly had their health care in peril, lost a lot of their pension, uh, lost their jobs, found another job that made half what the old job made. And we started realizing this isn't just about these plants that are closing, these businesses that have gone through this. This is a whole class of Americans that are being impacted by this. And I think that was the first time it fully fell into place for us. I mean, what was happening to this, the American middle class, which right. is the heart of the country. Uh, to achieve that, to be that, that's what this country is about. So we, that's when we first began to see it. And that's when we first began to write about it. And we began to look into the other factors that had caused that. I mean, right. taxation was a big issue. Uh, you know, the other thing that's amazing about taxation, and a lot of young people don't know this to this day, tax rates back in the 50s and 60s were very, very high. And yet you hear all these people talk about lowering taxes today. Taxes for people of means today are almost as low as they've ever been. I mean, they're certainly lower than they were in the 50s right. and 60s, even into the 70s. What were they in the 50s? In the 50s, the highest rate was 92%. You didn't pay 92%, but you paid that on the last piece of your income if you were very wealthy. Uh, but the point was you had a graduated system. The more you made, the more you paid. You didn't have a situation like now where if you're making 10 million, your top rate's the same as some well-paid uh, secretary at a big corporation uh, in terms of that top rate. Mm -hmm. So you know that's different. That's hugely different. And that has contributed overwhelmingly in our book yeah. to the inequality.